Hello and welcome to Before You Buy. In this episode, we're going to feature Ravel's Mad Mudder Chevy truck, which is actually a Chevy Blazer. But if you can read that 124 scale, that is telling us there is some monogram history here. We have a skill level 2, and there's a shot of a built up, as well as our part number of 85 2584. And around this side, we got a couple more shots of that built up including those cool hood exit headers and onto the features side we have eight inches in length 116 parts which are molded in white and telling us again about that dual quad high rise manifold and some massive groundhog tires custom decals with a copyright of 1999 from Ravel monogram and to talk about that monogram history they kind of started off this blazer tooling in 81 with the high roller as a traditional 4x4 style blazer and then in 83 it developed into a pulling rig and they called it the pulldozer and in 83 it developed even bigger into a monster truck which we've seen several iterations of that until this boxing before us and then in 2023 they came back out again with the pulldozer this is a used kit, but everything is inside. So let's take a look. As you can see, everything is unbagged, but we'll kind of pull everything out and then take a closer look. Looks like we've got four styrene trees and a chrome tree, as well as our four tires. Got some clears. Of course, there's our instructions and our decals. Let me clean this up and we'll take a closer look at everything. And we have a pretty standard affair from Ravel in the instructions. That uh, page turning booklet style. Really large photos. And ends it off with our decal placement. Okay, moving on to those decals. Kind of an older kit and they've yellowed a bit, but they look like they're in good shape. We got a special thing, some pit crew, some Rancho and KC labeling. Real cool US Hot Rod Association banner. Our Mad Mudder name. Variety of license plates. The Chevy Tough and the Fear of This. Very, very iconic of the era. Everybody had that. And some contingency stickers to go along with that red and yellow striping. And jump over to Chrome Tree. Got a couple of mirrors. Our rear bumper. There's our KC headlights. Standard pair of chrome valve covers. There's our air cleaners. A couple of marker lights. Our square body grill. Our chrome wagon wheel style rims. Our keg style gas tank. A little shifter. Those are mirror mounts. Rear view. We have 4x4 shifter. And that pretty much covers the chrome tree. And from there we can go on to tires. Again, we have four of these. Branded Groundhog on one side. Plane on the other. They are of a directional style tread. Four of those guys. And we can take a look at that blazer body. Very cool square body look. Tailgate molded in. The wheel wells are flared out a bit. And under the hood, we have our wheel wells molded in and a pair of batteries. And for our floor, we do have some carpeted texture, kind of like that rubber mat look. And our door trim and rear trim. And 
There are the styrene sprues. There's our hood with a giant hole in it for those headers to stick out. We have a single racing seat there. There's our pulling hitch, our tall tunnel ram intake. Take a look at that dash. Conic square body. Some stabilizer bars, steering wheel. We had eight shocks there. I believe this is a part of that hitch mount. Distributor, a couple of carbs, fan shroud. There's our roll bar with a couple of fire extinguishers mounted on. And there is our hood exit headers. Very cool. And there we have our radiator sport. Some radiator molded in. There's our tractor weights to hang out front. Wheel backs. Fan. That is a small little cooler. There's one differential and spring setup. There's another. Our transfer case. That does it for that tree. And this tree has our heads on it. Looks like our steering column. There's our engine and transmission. A 4x4 style transmission. Another part of our tunnel ram. Timing chain cover and oil pump. A couple more weights. And our inner tailgate. And our last tree has some more wheel parts and our frame has gas tank and exhaust molded in belt and pulley and alternator a couple of our roll bar parts and some suspension parts and lastly we have a single windshield our taillights and our headlights I will get pictures of everything and leave it at the end for you. Thanks for watching.